Hi guys! Today we're going to show you how to find the specific volume of water. Okay, so para may pakita natin yan, we will be solving the problem na nakikita ninyo ngayon dito. No? So, in finding the specific volume of water, uh, given ang ating temperature and yung quality ng ating steam. So, kung hindi kayo familiar kung ano ibig sabihin ng quality na sinasabi dito sa ating problem, you can review our video about the quality of the steam. No? Doon din discuss natin kung paano nakukuha itong quality of steam para mas maintindihan ninyo habang sinosolve natin itong ating problem. So, sisimulan natin uh, by finding the specific volume ng water in 160 degrees Celsius. Bago natin kukunin yung uh, specific volume ng water in 223 degree Celsius because dito mag interpolate tayo sa ating steam table. No? So first, let us try to solve uh, the specific volume of water at 160 degree Celsius uh, when the quality is 90%. So ito yung ating steam table. No? So ang given natin is uh, 160 degree Celsius and 90% quality. So dito sa ating steam table, ito yung temperature na given sa atin. No? So, ibig sabihin yung mga data na kailangan natin is na andito sa row na to. Okay? But since we are talking about specific volume ng water, so, dito tayo sa part na to, itong uh, ating column na to, na specific volume. So, dito makikita natin yung specific volume in cubic meter per kilogram ng saturated liquid, which is VF. And specific volume in cubic meter per kilogram ng saturated vapor, which is V. G. So, at 100 degrees Celsius, ito yung ating VF at ito yung ating VG. Okay? So, yan ang ating mga gagamitin na data para sa ating computation. So, first, ipapakita ko muna kung ano ba yung formula na gagamitin natin in finding the specific volume ng ating water sa given temperature na to. So, our specific volume will be equal to our VF plus X, itong X na to is yung ating quality ng steam, no? And this will be multiplied to our VG minus VF, okay? So, basically, yan yung gagamitin nating equation sa ating problem. Pero bago nating masagutan yan, kailangan makuha muna natin kung ano ba yung value ng VF and VG sa ating steam table. In, in this case, na mark na natin siya, no? Because at 160 uh, degree Celsius... So, ito yung ating VF at ang ating VG, no? So, maybe it will be better kung pabox ko para mas ma-highlight natin siya dito sa ating steam table, no? So, that means with that uh, given, no? Itong mga nakuha nating values, uh, we got our VF which is equal to 0.001102. Uh, cubic meter per kilogram and our VG is equal to 0 0.30680 cubic meter per kilogram. Okay, so our X is 90%, so therefore uh, our X will be 0 0.9. Okay, yan yung ating quality ng steam which is 90%. So, we're just going to substitute this value dito sa ating equation. No? So, we have V is equal to VF plus X times VG minus VF. So, our V is equal to our VF which is 0 0.001102 plus our X which is 0 0.9 times yung difference ng VG and VF. So, we have 0 0.30680 minus 0 0.001102. Alright, so we're going to solve this problem. So we're going to use our calculator. So unahin ko itong nasa loob ng ating parenthesis. No? So we have 0 0.30680 um, minus 0 0.001102. Then we're going to multiply that to 0 0.9. Then, we will just add that dito sa 0 0.001102. So, we have 0 0.27623, no? 
So we have our V, which is equal to 0 0.27623 cubic meter per kilogram. Okay, so that's our final answer para dito sa ating problem number 1. Okay, so now we're going to solve another problem. At this time, our temperature is at 223 degrees Celsius. And take note that pareho pa rin yung ating quality. Our x is equal to 0 0.9. Okay? So, ilocate natin nasa itong 223 degrees Celsius, no? So, our 223 degrees Celsius is here, no? Between 220 and 225. So, therefore, ang mga kailangan nating data is between these values, no? So, para hindi tayo malito, I'm just going to box itong mga kailangan nating data, no? Alright. So, again, unahin natin yung pagkuha ng VF. Kasi pareho pa rin naman yung gagamitin nating formula, no? So, we will still be using our formula. V is equal to VF plus X times VG minus VF, no? So, same formula pa rin yung ating gagamitin. So, we just need to determine kung anong value ng VF and VG. But in this case, hindi natin pwedeng basta nalang gamitin to because our temperature is actually between 220 and 225. So, we need to interpolate, no? So, first, kunin natin yung ating VF. Okay, so, first, we will be solving for VF. So, let's write here, solving for VF, okay? So, yan ang ating susolve ngayon. So, our temperature in degree Celsius and our VF will be here. Okay, so our temperature is 220 and 223, yung kailangan natin, and 225. So, our VF, we have 0 0.001190. Then, our Required VF and then itong 0 0.00, uh, 0 0.00199. Okay? So, in order to interpolate, kailangan uh, gumawa tayo ng ating equation. No? So, we will be subtracting VF dito sa um, VF ng 220. So, we have VF minus Zero point zero zero one one nine zero. So, ito yun, no? Sinubtract natin itong V up. So, this will be over. Ito naman, we will be subtracting here, no? So, we have zero point zero zero one one nine nine minus zero point zero zero one one nine zero. Okay? So, this is equal to, so, the same pattern na ginawa natin dito, we will be doing that here. So, we have... 223 minus 220 over 225 minus 220. So, we know that this is equal to 3 over 5. Okay? So, we're going to solve for VF. So, therefore, we have VF is equal to 3 over 5. times uh, 0 0.001199 minus 0 0.00190. So, para hindi tayo mahirapan, no? solve na natin yan sa ating calculator. So, 0 0.001199 minus 0 0.001190. So, madali lang siya. Kailangan lang makita natin yung number ng ating uh, Zero para hindi tayo malito. So, I'll just write it like this. Zero point zero 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 nine. Okay? And then, we will transpose this value here. So, we have plus zero point zero zero one one nine zero. Okay? So, our VF is equal to, we'll solve that now. So, meron na tayong value nyan. We will be multiplying that to three divided by 5 okay so plus point zero zero one one nine zero okay so therefore 
now we have here 0 0.001194. One one nine five four. Okay, so one one nine five four. Okay, so our unit is the same as this cubic meter per kilogram. Okay, so now kailangan naman nating makuha is yung ating VG. So solving for VG. Okay, so the same. We have our temperature at degree celsius and our vg okay so temperature natin is the same we have 220 223 and 225 but right now ang natin makuha is yung vg so kailangan natin ngayon ma-determine yung value ng vg at 220 and 225 so we have 0 0.086094 okay then another one we have 0 0.078405 okay so check ko lang kung tama malilimutin na kasi ako right now. so again we're going to interpolate okay so we have our vg minus 0 0.086094 over 0 0.078405 minus 0 0.086094. Okay, so notice nyo guys, no, hindi tayo nagsushortcut. Talagang pinapakita ko siya kung paano mag-interpolate para uh, makuha ninyo yung uh, concept ng ating interpolation para sa mga student na ngayon pa lang uh, natututo mag-interpolation. No? So, we have 200... 23 minus 220 over 225 minus 220. So, this is the same ng nasa itaas, no? So, we know that this is equal to 3 over 5, no? Okay? So, uh, we have our VG is equal to 3 over 5 times this one. So, solve na natin sa calculator natin. Okay, so we have 0 0.078405 minus 0 0.086094. So, we have negative 0 0.007689. Okay, so verify nga natin. 0 0.007689. Okay, so tama naman. And then we're going to transpose this sa kapila. So we have plus 0 0.086094. Uh, so our VG is equal to, okay, so meron na tayong value nito. We're just going to multiply that to 3. Then divide that to 5. And now we're going to add 0 0.086094. Okay, so our VG is equal to 0 0.08148. Okay, so verify. 0 0.08148. 8, no? So, niround off na natin. Cubic meter per kilogram, no? So, meron na tayong value ng BF. Meron na tayong value ng VG. So, now, we will be using itong ating equation. So, we have uh, VF plus X times VG minus VF. Okay? So, our V is equal to our VF. Our BF is equal to 0 0.001954 0 0.001954 So plus our x which is 0 0.9 and then our vg which is 0 0.08148 minus our vf which is 
0.001195. Okay, so our V is equal to, again, gamitin natin yung ating calculator. So, unahin ko tong nasa parenthesis natin. So, we have 0 0.08148 minus 0 0.00119. 54 then times 0.9 right so now we will add to 0 0.00111954 so we have 0 0.07345 Okay, so verify natin. 0 0.07345. So, niround off na natin. No? Cubic meter per kilogram. So, that is our final answer for this problem. No? Okay, so I hope nakatulong sa inyo to guys. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.